The Lord Jesus is your Good Shepherd, but do you always hear and listen to His voice? Salve Maria! The Gospel this Sunday is presented to us by St. John, chapter 10, verses 27 to 30. And in this Gospel, we see a change in the Easter season, because the first three Sundays of Easter, uh, the Gospel spoke about our Lord appearing to the Apostles and to the disciples after His resurrection. Today, on this fourth Sunday of Easter, we see the Lord Jesus being presented to us as the Good Shepherd. So let's listen to St. John. Jesus said, My sheep hear my voice. I know them, and they follow me. I give them eternal life, and they shall never perish. So here, on one hand, we have the Good Shepherd, and on the other hand, we have the sheep. The Good Shepherd, of course, is our Lord Jesus Christ, and the sheep, that's us. So, St. John says that the Good Shepherd knows his sheep and brings them to eternal life. And St. John also says that the sheep, they hear the voice of the Good Shepherd, and they follow him. So the secret here for us is to hear the voice of the Good Shepherd in order to be able to follow him. St. Paul to the Romans says that faith comes from hearing the message and the word of God. So the danger is to miss the voice of the Good Shepherd. How can this happen? This happens by two means. There are two ways of missing the voice of the Good Shepherd. The first way of missing the voice of the Good Shepherd is by filling our heads with the noise and the false voices of this world, of its vanities, its attractions. The second way of missing the voice of the Good Shepherd is by what St. Ignatius of Loyola calls the turning a deaf ear turning a deaf ear to the voice of the Good Shepherd. This happens when we pretend that we don't hear His voice, when we turn our backs to His voice. But it's also important to learn to discern, to learn to discern a Good Shepherd from a hired hand, a Good Shepherd from a mercenary. Because when money is the motivation to caring for the flock. Well, the the normal reaction or consequence to that is to flee in front of danger. Love has to be the motivation. Love will make you rise up against fear and against danger. So when the wolves come to devour and attack the, the sheep, the flock, the Good Shepherd will first stand up and defend and protect the sheep out of love. So let's learn today to um, always be attentive to the voice of the Good Shepherd in order to be able to hear, to hear His voice. And this we will be able to, to do through prayer, through meditation, through the Eucharistic adoration. And let's always be prudent. Let's always um, resist the, um, the noise and the false voices and the mercenaries of this world that will try to attract us, distract us, actually. And by therefore listening and hearing the voice of the Good Shepherd, He will therefore bring us to eternal life. And so may Almighty God bless you in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Salve Maria.